Hey guys, welcome back to more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So I figured out where we're supposed to do for this part. Um, it was actually like once you're in here, there's one area which leads you straight up to the tower. So I believe it's this one. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So you're like right up here, and then you can be like, I'll take that, and I will take that, and then kaboom, open. What? The door opened? Could it be? Did you fix it for me? Yeah. And can't believe a couple of sticks caused all this hassle. I wonder if those were in there to begin with and just fell over somehow, or if some monster did that on purpose. Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well, and now he'll fix it, and boom. Boom, boom, duh. Okay, now I can scan this. Wow, I spent so much time looking for this. Turns out it was super easy. And this is the kind of thing that Zelda's really good at. It's this, that kind of like, thought provoking, puzzle solving kind of experience. Like, you really need to be flexible with your mind to be able to, like, catch these by yourself. Otherwise, you'd have to look it up. Like, I just could didn't think of it. And as after spending, like, an hour, I decided to just look. And boom. I really hope that whenever Nintendo decides to do a Switch Pro or Switch 2 or whatever. That they have backwards compatibility that I can just like replay Tears of the Kingdom with better graphics. Because I feel like the game already looks really good for what it is, but it just, it could be better. And that's just because of the hardware limitation. So whenever like they upgrade the hardware if there's backwards compatibility i'm all in for that like i just want to be able to play zelda with better graphics and like i know there's emulation but i just don't like emulators because it just doesn't feel right i mean i know it's not illegal or anything and i don't have anything against people who use emulators it's just for me personally it's a preference thing it just doesn't feel right because it doesn't feel like it's intended to be used that way. But yeah, enough about that. I'm just really amazed at like the verticality of Zelda. Like, how did they do all this? Like, you can go from sky, the ground to the sky, and then from the sky to the ground again. And it's like seamless. There's like no load screens, no super like lag spikes or anything. It's just pretty smooth transition. Uh, what surprises me is that when there's a lot of mobs, that's when the lag spikes happen. Not so much like when you're moving up and down from different parts of the map. Oh, I think I can actually head to that one. Wait, what's this? I don't know what this is. Wait, oh, it's a curving thing. Well, that's really interesting. Okay. Wait. Oh, there we go. Half complete. But I can't get to that path. Or can I? I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna risk risk it. There's something on the map. What is this? Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so, and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. The north. Lacunda Sky Crystal. Huh. 
I think this is probably as good as it's gonna get for me. So I'm gonna try to. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Um... Oh, there's a lot of apples here, so let me grab that. Apples. Wow, I don't have any axes except for this one, which. Feels like a waste to use my super axe just for apples, but apples are very important. Okay, so I can pull this. <clears throat> and then I guess I'm supposed to bring it over here, right? So can I like just push it over there? Or is it too far? Ah. That's not good. Oh yes, okay, it comes back. Okay, so if doing it that way doesn't work, I think it's actually really close. So if I stick it on a log and then I push it out, would that be enough? Like, if I use the log to make it a little bit longer, and then I go like, whoa, and then, yeah. Okay, is there anything else I can make? I guess this isn't just a straightforward solution. Probably gonna need to think a little bit. So let's see what I can do. Maybe I have to bring it over there because the path can actually be connected to that one. And I can't jump or anything when I'm doing, uh, when I'm using the mega arm or ultra arm. So maybe there's something over there that I have to use. Okay, so I can jump over here. What? Um, okay. Oh, I just had a thought. I, I didn't realize that dropping materials is different from this. So maybe if I do it like this, I can actually put it in there. Uh... Oh, and then I can get all these little tiny... Does that work for these as well? Because I wouldn't mind putting these in. Oh, it works for these too? Wow. These cores give a lot more stuff. Time bomb. Splash can activate other zone line devices. There's a lot of cannons here. I don't really need all these horns. I'm just gonna keep on putting them in. 
<laughs> but I think I've gotten pretty much everything that you can get from. Do I have anything else that I want to put in? Nope, not that. Nope, I think that's it. Okay, so this makes me like much more uh like I, I don't feel as pressured as uh hoarding these kind of things now because i know there's a very easy way to get a lot of them now i just have to remember to mark uh remember to mark like the oh it's actually also on the map too that's great uh, I just have to remember to really mark my stuff, like where to farm these, so I can actually go ahead and farm them. Okay, so this lets me twist this, shoot it to a particular location. Can I pull it back this way? Wait, is it one way or something? I want to push it the other way. I just need it a little bit more on this side. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh no. Oh, I could have just pushed it like this. Oh yeah, that's right, I think I did it before. Okay. Oh yeah, I can definitely do that. And then I can bring it over here, I think. I don't really see a way to bring it over. Hmm. That is a problem. Let's see, what did I pick up a lot of? Zonide devices, flame emitter, I don't really need that. This is useless, cannon. Wing, harness lift, spring. Let's see, do these? Oh, okay, so each Zonai dispenser dispenses different Zonai stuff. So even though this one has wing, it doesn't have the thing that I would need to make it fly without falling to the ground. Maybe I can get enough propulsion to move them. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's try it. I have two turbines and I have a wing. So technically I can just like put Oh no. Okay, so technically I can put this up here. this move it up here boom okay and now the hard part which is building the thing if I use this okay so I can just do two fans and a wing okay perfect so I just use fan here, attach to this, and then fan here, attach to this, balanced, 
then I add this over here. And then step on. Okay, let's hope this works. Nope, doesn't work at all. Why does it not fly? Is it too heavy? It's not moving at all. is not working. I think maybe this rock is way too heavy. Okay, so what can I do at this stage? Maybe I can just... Oh. Maybe I can just dump this over here? Oh. I don't even have to bring this out. Oh, that's such a waste then. Okay, well, let's hope it's not a waste. I can still use that later for my own purposes. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Well. So much for that. I was gonna use it later for, uh. Maybe like flying to other places. Just like in the distance so I can save some time, but that's gone now, so not much I can really do. Oh well. Okay, good, finally. Ah. Is it faster if I... I think it's faster if I just pull. Hey. Oh, that was tough. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Wait, isn't that the same light then? Oh, it's just a... Maybe I should have watched that. They don't know how it turns into a giant shrine. Oh well. Watch the next one. Oh, this is a uh, oh one of those instantly get a blessing. Good stuff. Large zone I charge. That's good. And then this one I can just skip. I think I don't unlock anything, right? Just a blessing. Yep. So how many do I have now? Nine. Okay. I can actually upgrade my stamina now. Maybe I should do that. I want to head to the other uh, gacha thing so I can trade in some of my Zonite stuff and hopefully get like a few more turbines so I can actually use it. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. I will go to this one. But I didn't know how to use it. So now I can probably use it and see what kind of zoning stuff there is. I'm hoping that there's going to be turbines or like the fire breathing thing. Wait, is this where I wanted to go? What was this again? This is a wing, but the wing doesn't have any turbines, so I can't do anything with it. 
I think I saw a star fragment. I don't know what the star fragments do again. I think it was like for making a super elixir potion or something. Not sure. But I saw, saw a star fragment fall down. Oh, there. Oh, it's all the way over there. I'm not gonna go there. I will instead go over here. Where is the... Gotcha. Is it that one? I think it's all the way down here. Let's see what this is going to give me. Oh. Fans, yes. Fans, portable pots. Okay. I thought these things were useless, but in terms of like these Zonai charges are actually super useful. Man, I need to go and hunt more of these uh, constructs so I can get more of these. I wonder how much these things are worth. Level 2 harness, right? Oh, level 2 horns are also not worth it. So the thing of the highest yield are actually Zonai charges. They're the ones that give the most when you're recycling them. Got a bunch of stuff, that's good. Uh, I wonder if I can actually find a few constructs to farm or beat up. Oh, I can actually go and attack that one. I haven't actually fought that yet. Yeah, let's go do that. Uh, let's see. Lux Construct. How do I fight it? Oh, I see. Okay, and now that I broke it, I can probably use stronger weapons, so let's go with the Stone Talisman. Wow, this is such an interesting boss. Can I actually use this as well? Wait, I can use this? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Frame rate, but oh, what is this? 
No, I know all that other stuff. I just want to know what this is. What the heck is this? I guess the only thing I can do is get rid of the topaz, right? Destroy fused material and let's fuse it with this. Whatever this construct pours. Interesting. I think that was probably like a waste or something. It's probably useful for something else, but I have no idea what it does. So probably have to look it up later. It's a flux construct core. Uh, yeah. Okay, where am I right now? I'm over here. I can teleport back over here, and then I can probably because I got a few turbines or, or fans, so I can probably use that now to go to someplace else really far away. Which is great. Okay. Beep. Okay, so I put down a wing earlier. Does the wing disappear since I teleported it away? And the answer is, I believe so. Because I don't see it anymore. Okay. That's uh, good to know. that I got fans, I can go somewhere far away, but the question is, where do I want to go? Okay, I think this, oh, I'll just go down there first, because the idea is still to collect all of those uh, sky view towers first. Before heading to other places, so I still want to do that. Oh, this is interesting. Two fire breathing things. And a bunch of rockets. I can actually go very far with that. If I use, put it on a wing, and then just rocket it, it'll be like... I'll be like all the way over there. No, actually that's crazy, I won't be there. I think I'll be over there. Is there a closer one? Nope. Okay, so let's do it. I will put on... I'll bring out a wing. And then I will slap rockets onto it. Actually, this would actually be really good too. If I have. What's in here? Oh. Okay, 
go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do this. Um. Oh, right. I need to put bands too. Otherwise, it won't move forward. Okay. Let me get my bands. Where are my bands? Man, I don't like this menu. I wish it was like. Can I just quickly go to this one instead? I do not like this menu at all. Take out device. Oh, I can put a bunch. Oh, that's so many. Okay. Hopefully I won't die from this, but... Time to see what happens. Whoa! Oh god, it hurts. It burns. Okay. And I'm in the air, which is a good thing. Let's take on a sonar charge. This is actually better. So I can turn it around this way and then move it, center it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can just hit this. I feel like this is so dangerous. Oh, what? I can actually be attacked mid air? That is not good. I'm gonna twist it over this way. What does the green mean? Oh, that's what it means. You've been flying for a distance uh, quite a while, so it just suddenly disappears, right? That's what happened last time. So I will preemptively jump. I guess that makes sense. It doesn't. They don't want you to like fly to another place without like skipping through all the I guess exploration phases and stuff. But that's what I plan on doing. So I'm gonna build another one. Old map. Depths. Old map in the depths. Uh, that's gonna be a very long time. Like, I'm not gonna go to the depths anytime soon because I want to unlock all the. I mean, explore the map first. Just picking more dazzle fruits. Oh, this is actually a little pointless, like the island thing, because I don't see anything useful here. There's like nothing good here. Okay, so I can actually maybe reach there. I think I got halfway there with just one wing. But the problem is finding another launching spot from here. I'll figure it out. I think probably this one is probably the best launching spot, so I will do that. Uh, what I need to bring out is a wing and two turbines and... Spring? No, I don't think spring is useful. Yeah. Okay.
Is there a way that I can... Yes, there is. I can use reverse recall, right? And just move it back up. And while it's like rewinding, I can be like, let's go. And I'll stop it and it'll go. Yes, perfect. Yeah. See, this is the thing I like about Zelda is that like, I thought about something that might work and it actually did work. And that's satisfying. Because I, I couldn't figure out how to make it fly, but the easiest way is actually just to lift it first and then reverse time and let it go back down. Okay, I'm not getting enough energy. Oh man, this is really tough. Okay, I need to use a zone I charge. I just don't have enough energy. Oh. I really need to identify some farming spots for these uh, constructs because I'm going through these zone charges like super fast. Uh, the cost of like skipping through the entire game on wings. Oh, it's gonna disappear soon. I guess I still can't really skip the entire game. Preemptively dumping or Okay. Cool. There goes the two engine things. Does it blow up? Nope. Okay. I think I'm like six seventy percent of the way there. How far did I travel? Oh I actually traveled quite a bit. I went from all the way over here to there. Okay, there's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more of these towers to go. Hmm. There's a, a shrine there. I think I'm gonna go to this geoglyph because it's just exactly like right here. There's no reason for me to like not go to it. Uh, I don't really see where the. How do I use this geoglyph? Or how do I activate it? Oh, here it is. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, 
Secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called Draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. Okay. <gasps> that is interesting, so... To become a dragon means you become immortal, and Zelda somehow took the Master Sword back in time to, I guess, restore it to a state before it was spoken? And why does she need to do that? To empower it with the power of light or something? Because the current Master Sword that I had that broke wasn't strong enough to seal Ganon. So that would mean maybe it had to go use it. Uh, like the Master Sword has to be empowered by light. Maybe Raoru's light. And that's the only way to seal it because Raoru's hand was the thing that was sealing Ganon until the mummy got woke up, woken up. Don't tell me the dragon flying in the sky up there is Zelda, because she turned into a dragon, and that's the only way for her to bring the Master Sword back to Link. Does that mean the Master Sword's on that flying dragon? Nah, it can't be. It doesn't make sense. There's no way Zelda turns into a dragon. I wonder what that thing is. What is that dragon, though? Oh, well, whatever. We'll see. <sighs> I really need to find more of those construct caps so I can like just go around and killing a bunch of constructs for the zone eye charges because without zone eye charges there's not a lot of like construct things I can really do. 
but at least now I can get easily get cannons. So I can like spawn a cannon, stick it on my weapon, and then I can use that. Or, or stick it on my shield. Here to see the Skyview Tower. Sorry, everything's a bit of a mess. A big chunk of old ones fell in the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. Oh. They're not the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. That means the hole at the top is open, and that's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck, too. Let's see. Maybe if you used the terminal inside, that would force the door back open, but without a way to get inside, what kind of step? Ah, okay, so I see. I have to climb up this tower to get in through the top. Or I can climb up the mountain and try to get in through the top. Or maybe there's a better way. Maybe I can just ascend to the top of the mountain. Of this building? Is there a way for me to do that? Okay, so let's see. I can choose to go up that mountain. see any way for me to climb this up uh, climb up this tower unless I go from a really high spot so that means I should just go up there and glide over that's probably the easiest way though it's not exactly easy to do but I guess it's easy compared to doing the alternative alternative would be to try and find a way to go up that mountain without having climbed. Okay, let's... Ooh, wow. This mob is super strong. I'm gonna try this. I think this is the way. Like, there's no way I can. How high do I have to glide in from? Like, mountain top? I still don't think that would be enough. Okay, I think there's something more here. Something that I might have missed. So there's a bunch of things broken down there. Thank <laughs> you. 
do I get up here? Pretty sure I can just climb up this one fairly easily. I just have to use the sand. Swim through the rock. And then I can get out from here. Okay, and then I can jump up this. Now the question is, how do I get from here to there? This light is down way too fast. There's no way I can get there on time. I have to use another wing? Because I don't want to use another wing. But maybe there's no choice but to use another Mind, and then I will get my stick ready. No, I accidentally fell off, but that would have been perfect, right? Yeah, it would have been perfect. No. Can I get my wing back? Nope, the wing disappeared once it goes out of... Ah, uh, that would have been so good. Like, I had everything ready. Planned out. Okay. There must be another way up there. I don't think it's gonna be that complex. Like, if there's only... Uh, how do I get up this way? Right. That's right. I get it now. What I need to do to make this work is to 
call a flaw falling rock, right? Yeah, okay. I'll try that. Longsword. Nice. What happens if I use a longsword with a cannon? You gonna blow me up? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That is amazing. I was not expecting it to shoot a cannon, so now I have like a ranged sword. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Can't believe I didn't think of this earlier and I wasted a, a perfectly good wing for this. But I mean, that's one of the cool things about Zelda. You have many approaches. Uh, I wouldn't have thought of this if I didn't have. If I didn't want to waste another wing, I, I mean, I thought about a way to not have to waste another wing. Ah! I was right in there, I was pretty sure you couldn't get that door open without using the terminal. And I used the terminal, boom. Oh! Oh, I was right, using the terminal did open the door, thank you, that was a big help. Oh. And now then I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. You didn't do anything though. Another, oh, Death Mountain. Oh yeah, this is that fireplace. It's super hot. Okay, let's see what else is up here. Is there any platforms I can jump? Oh, there is one. I can jump on this. see I can add I can actually just take this or where does this go oh this goes back over there then I can just reverse this way so I don't think I'd want to go down there right yeah it's just a death trap there's nothing down there okay Back over there I go, and then I guess I'll take over these batteries, right? At least I want to use more batteries. And then I guess it's time to go. I thought I had to stop there, but nope. Oops, you can still go ahead. Okay, 
No, the weapon fell off. Okay, there's nothing. Ascending. <laughs> ascend. Yep, ascending. Okay, so Sky Shroom, Zone I Charge. Something do a uh, mushroom. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Stampo. Uh, sky shroom. That's it, there's like nothing else here. Maybe I can put some more apples, but that's about it. Oh. I wonder if it's worth making another one of this one of these like super axes, because like it's really efficient. I just need one hit to break a tree. Cut a tree down. But it's also, like, I don't know if it's a waste of materials, but I mean, I mean, I'll think about it. Think about if I need to add, do another, I mean, make another axe when this one breaks. My stick. <laughs> oh, there's another uh, gotcha thing. Oh, and a shrine, so I can actually do this. Sh what? Oh, this again. Let me bounce myself over to there. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Complete the shrine and get a, another gotcha place. Water makes a way. This isn't water, this is lava. Oh, okay, I get it.
I have no idea how to get that up. No idea how to get that chest. So I guess I'll just ignore it. Oh, whoops. Uh, wait, what is this? Spring shield? Oh, bounce enemies away or something? This is going to be annoying because it keeps on moving. a little hard time understanding like what I'm supposed to do here because this is okay, I need to think about this one. it's continuously shifting down up with me. Okay, that's much easier. There we go. That wasn't too bad. F ten. Okay, let's see what the gacha machine has for me. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, how many Zonai things do I have? Only 10. 
Man, I really need to find a place to farm these. Battery, nice. Okay. Hydrant for water, that's actually not useful at all. Wheels. Okay, so I can make a car now. I think that's it for this one, right? Yep, just fan, battery, hydrant, big wheel. Okay. Good. Hydrant's pretty useless, I think. I can't think of a lot of scenarios where it'd be useful. There's like nothing here. Well, let's go to. Oh, there's a, one more thing there. Well, might as well since I'm in the area. Wait, what's that? There's a three headed dragon? This is. It doesn't seem to be for anything. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what that's for. Okay, let's just try and get over there. No, I'm not making it. And I already. Yeah, it's too late for me to go back, so I'll just see how far I can. Wait, why is there a huge sphere? Yeah, I'm not making it there, but I can be close. I think I can be very close, actually. Let's see. Do I have any other stamina? Potions or foods? Nope. I just need to make it to the ledge and that should be good enough for me to climb up there, so... I should be there. I think I can just barely make it. Yep. Oh, lizards. Okay, I think this area is probably a little bit harder than what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, lava's blocking the door. Or wait, is this even lava? What is this? Gills. <sighs> you there, please help me. The sludge fell upon me so suddenly I could wash it away if only I had some water. Well, that's easy. I can just shoot you with the water thing. Splash for you. Water for you. You, you saved me. Thank you. How shameful that this should happen to me. Captain of the guard at Zora's domain. Unbelievable. <sighs> After the upheaval that Philip suddenly began falling from the sky. It sullied the waters around here and in Zora's domain. Everyone is at their wit's end because of it. This is why I settled to investigate the surrounding area myself. To think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself. Uh. 
Just thinking of it makes my scales bristle. My gills still feel so unclean. If you sh uh, had not sprayed me with water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Please, take the Zora Spear as a token of my thanks. I'm sorry that this, it is not much, but it is all I have. It decayed like all the other weapons at the time of the upheaval, but, well, it is not unusable at least. Hmm? You have many weapons in your possession, it would seem. If you could make room in return, I will give you the Zora Spear. Okay. I will throw that stick away and take this Zora Spear. Use a high attack power when it gets wet. Interesting. A wet sword. Okay. So essentially he just taught me that water gets away with this kind of sludge. Okay, that's another tower down. Another region explored. Okay, I think I'm making pretty good progress. Okay, time to look into what are these weird things. Oh, these are, this is the sludge. The sludge is the string of black stuff. I see. Another huge region explored, and oh, this one actually has like a huge sky city as well. Oh man, how big is the Zelda game? Like, I've only been exploring the towers and stuff, and I know there's like a huge underground chasm thing too, right? Oh, I can, I can actually fall into this. Oh, there's a shrine in here. And there's a gacha. Oh, the sphere in the sky is just a giant shrine? That is so... weird. I guess if I turn off the fan, it'll probably stop spinning around. Line device. Oh, I get to make a, a wing. Wait, I know. <laughs> Okay, uh, just a fan. 
How do I do that? Oh yeah, because it gave it fans, so it has wheels. Now I just need to give it some speed, and then it'll be able to fly over. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Now let's center this. My plane is ready. It's kind of like a crappy plane, but it's still a plane. Okay, let's go. Well, this is really far distance. Oh, oh surprisingly still. Like, it's not tilting anything. Or it's just going in a straight line, which is perfect. Oh, and then I can land on there? I guess I can land it. Wait, okay, landing. Landing, perfect landing. 10 out of 10. Oh, this shrine is actually really fun. I like this shrine. Wait, okay, that's another shrine down. Eleven. I think I'm gonna upgrade. Um, my next few upgrades are all gonna be stamina because I want to have like two full bars of stamina or two and a half. I think that's like, it's like four upgrades for one bar of stamina. So I might do sixteen. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, I can actually make this into like, kind of like a launch pad or something. I just have to move this and then make it so the circle is facing a direction where I can actually use a wing. And then this will be like a launch pad for the wing. There, perfect. And then I assume that because there were wheels in the last trial, that this is going to be giving me a wheel. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to launch the wing, right? <laughs> yeah, the cart, I mean. Yeah, the cart, cart. Yep. Beam emitter, yes. Okay, this is actually a really good gacha. Wow. It has cart, wing, fang, and beam emitter. That's like the perfect fang. Oh, it's also here too. What is down there? Wait, how do I get down there? How do I get more battery actually? Well, I'll worry about that later. Now I will use this cart.
I think there's actually enough mobility for me to get to that tower. Which would be amazing. Okay, I see a shrine there, and I see a shrine there. I see some star fragments there too, and then a shrine there and a shrine there. Oh. I'm gonna have to glide soon. Oh, there's actually a lot of shrines here. Like one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna lose power soon. Hmm. Oh, there's also a shrine there. And then there's green, I mean blue light. That actually looks like a town. Is that Zora's town? Oh yeah, that is. I should have gone there. Oh, too late now. What is this? Oh, it's a three-headed lightning dragon. I don't want to fight that. Okay, there seems to be like a lot of chasms, and I just haven't gone into any of them yet. Well, I mean, I went into one, but I didn't explore it really. Oh, I don't. I can't reach that. I need to use some food. Okay, this is not good. I don't want to use up all my stamina food, but I can't get there. I use this. Wait, is this fusible? Nope. Well, it would be amazing if I could fuse that uh, cannon. Let's go, let's go. Hey, okay, what is this? A prone pathway. What does that mean? Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, what is this? I guess I hit it, right? Oh, it spins things to the right when I hit it. And then it stops. What is this thing? Okay, I see. Give me arrows. Does that mean I'm supposed to shoot that? Oh, okay. Oh, I know. I'm supposed to go down there, I think. This is extremely disorienting. I just want to get out of here. Zong Nai charge. So, I'm supposed to go over there, I think? Okay, I see. I see how this works. I have to get to the very top of the cube, 
And I have to do it by moving the cube around without dying. It's just more arrows. Oh. Jump down. Okay, I have to find my way up there, but this one isn't good enough. Gonna have me fall down. Okay, so where do I need to go now? I need to turn all the way up there, but it's not there. So I need to get up there, but it's not really working. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was thinking, trying to figure out like how to get to the spot, but I just realized it's impossible, so I thought maybe it's you used to send through the big one. Turns out that was it. The solution was to ignore the spinning turny thingies and just go for ascension over the... Okay, so now I can upgrade my stamina bar three times, so that should be really good. Because I'm finding myself short by about 50% of a stam full stamina bar when I'm gliding to a location. So this should help. Once I upgrade it, it should really help. I need to visit the Zora domain soon. Yeah, I have to break uh, some of these boxes for arrows. Oh no! Wait, can I not come up here? Yes. Did I beat them? Ah, okay. So they can't attack uh, terrain, like buildings and stuff. So they can only do it on the ground. They do stuff on the ground. At least now I know how to get around it. Oh, Royal Guard. Remember this is like super not uh, sturdy. But it does a lot of damage, which you can see from the 15 damage stat, which is a good trade-off. Like, don't use really strong uh, and rare materials with it, and use combo it with like the Bokoblin arm or something like that. Why is there a perfectly good wing? 
don't mind if I do. I'm gonna launch it to the... Oh. Perfectly good wing in the middle of nowhere. Excellent timing. Oh, no one's Stuff, and then I will use. Wow, all my weapons are really good now. I guess I'll use the Sora Spear. <laughs> and let's see. Let's twist it over here. Stand on this side. Oh, I can actually also go for that shrine. But I think the Sky View Tower is more important, so I'll just. Let it float over there. Yep, perfect. Oh, what is that? There's like a Naruto sign there. And then there's a shrine. What are those little squares? Oh. I need to turn back over this way. Right. Let's balance. Keep it balanced. Balance. Balance. What a mess. Dash here, so yeah, looks like you procrastinated. Uh, Did you come to see this kind of thing? He's talking about a mess again. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. Ha! Good grief. Sticky claw tar, stealing things, never fix it. Ah, I can just shoot it. Yeah, I'm still missing uh, the Zonai controller. So once I have that, I can probably build something pretty cool. Okay, can I just stick it in there? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Okay, install. <laughs> oh! Okay, perfect. Now I can. Install. Yep. Wow, I'm, I feel like I'm making a lot of progress on exploring the map, which is what I wanted to do, so that's great. Things are going as planned. And then that's like the top right completely done. Oh, there's actually a big plot of land over on the right too. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, it's right there. And there's a, I think a flux golem. I can actually fight that right now. Oh, there's another launch pad kind of thing over there. I can't reach it. I guess I'll just fight the flux golem. The flux golem. There's a bunch of parts though. Flux construct too.
Whoa, it did so much damage. I almost died in one hit. Uh, let's go with defense up. How am I supposed to fight it if it's all the way up there? Old map. Oh, it's also in the depths. Why are all the maps in the depths? Okay, this is kind of stupid. How am I supposed to fight it if it's all the way up there? It's not coming back down. Wow, and it's still, like, hit so hard. This is annoying. Maybe I'm supposed to use this? a bomb? Oh, I think the bomb actually did help.
That was so... Do I get up there? A little bit too far off. What happens if I use reverse time for that? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Get it. I can reverse time grab on and then go all the way back up. Okay. No, I screwed up. But yeah, that's exactly how you're supposed to fight it. Okay. That's why it's always in the sky. You see. Was tough. Uh, what did I? What is this construct head? Oh, I can build my own construct or something. Then this gives me a construct four. This cannon bat is actually really cool, but and I haven't really had a chance to use it. But I'm also not going to give up the chance of using a level two construct core. Wow. That boss fight was actually pretty satisfying. Like, it was, it's actually fun to fight. I think the boss designs in uh, Tears of the Kingdom so far has been pretty cool. Hey, what is this? A hovercraft or something? What is this? Something that lets me... is great. I'm assuming it's a hovercraft. Yep, so I can control it at will. Oh wow, it's using energy like crazy. One battery cell is already completely done. Good thing I stuck more than one battery cell on this. Oh, I can actually reach that orb.
Is that orb the same one that I went to earlier? No, that that's that orb. Okay. So I haven't gone to this orb before. I'm gonna mark that. That place is awesome. This is where I can find a vehicle. But how do I mark that? Uh, I guess I'll mark it with love, I guess. And then this is where I can find a big boss. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. And then... So, how do I do this? What is this? Untraption. up a little bit more. Yeah. Yep. So I managed to fling that outside, but I myself couldn't get outside, which is kind of funny. Where did I fling it? Oh, it didn't successfully get out, or... Here. Oh, it didn't really go out. Okay. Oh, you can actually go under the sphere. That's right. It's a sphere. What's down here? Sage's will. A small stone believed to have belonged to a sage. Holding it in your hand, you can feel remnants of a strong bond. Okay, basically it does nothing until I unlock something from the story, I guess. Is 
If I take out one spring, it would it be better? Actually, there's nothing stopping me from making this horizontal, right? Yeah, I can just shoot it that way. Oh, okay. Oops. this a little bit like there's nothing stopping me from shooting it at a smaller angle I'm maybe shooting it straight She worked. Wait, why isn't it working for me? What? Very weird. I don't know why it didn't work for me. But I'm gonna see what this gotcha gives me. Oh, I think I saw a rocket. Homing cart. What? A Zonai device that automatically hits for monsters. It's believed to have been used by the Zonai as a security measure. Why would I want something like that? Oh, I guess I could put a rocket and a homing cart together and it would be like a missile. Stake. Yep, this is your soul construct head. There we go.
Oh, right. I unlocked the shrine, but I didn't actually open the uh, the shrine yet, so I can't teleport to it. Good thing I didn't jump away. I was about to, like, jump off or something, but good thing I remembered. I think this is probably gonna be like one of those quick to uh, quick to redeem ones, right? Like there shouldn't be another shrine challenge. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Enduring elixir, nice. Uh. Oh, I should probably head back to the the orb with the what do you call it? The wing. Oh yeah. Let's see. Is there anything else that I'd like to get to? Nope. I don't think I can reach anything else. I'd like to get to this one. I don't think I can reach that, so I, I'll just go to this, the flying device. And then I'll head underneath the orb to grab the, uh... little sage thing that I picked up in the other orb. I'm assuming all of these orbs have a sage thing, and then you have to collect all of them. I don't think there's gonna be too many, maybe like six, or four, or eight? Open slot should give me enough room to slip in. Yep, just enough. Good. That's all I needed, and then I should be able to get one of those sage things. Stages will. Oh, there's five of those things, so maybe there's only five. That should have made a lot of sense. Oh, whoops. Do that. Let's go, let's go. I have the wing. But where do I want to go? Oh, I want to head to the Zora village or town. So where was that? Oh, I think it's actually just right down there. I didn't actually need to build a wing for that, but... Building a wing is always fun, I guess. Okay, I can just jump off. Because I don't need the wing. I love how just pressing, uh... Yee? For the paraglide button for the at the very last second is enough to break all fall damage. Like 
That part is pretty funny because I just held, hold on to the RB button to just like, do a full dash, and then all it needs is just one little. Yeah. Can I fix that for them? This is mucky. It's kind of disgusting. Oh, I can. Yes, yes. Elite Lotus Seeds boost movement speed when cooked. And then I can get Bright Eyed Crab. Tomato. And then there's a swift pilot, helium rice. Oh, arrows. Bundles of five. Uh. Change thing. The blade is ready to shatter. Just take a monster horn or fangs, stick it on, and that's that. The job is done. My father's in a state of things today. They would suddenly flood the dummy of their tears. Explore this as well. Wow, I've only cleared 25 shrines in total. How many shrines are there in tears of the kingdom? I think there's probably at least like 200 shrines because there's like, I think when we when I started the game there was like 20 hearts or something, and I only have six right now. I'm not sure, but oh well. Uh, what is this? Maybe I had it upside down. to soak it in water or something?
It's a water turbine, you see. Okay, so I just have to turn it a little bit. And then gravity should do its trick. Okay, perfect. And then I can charge this battery. And then use it to open other stuff. I was about to say, like, how am I not getting a shock when the water is electrified? But I did later on. Now I have 14. Hey. Now I just want to find the clothing shop so I can figure out like what kind of armor is available. In the Zora region. Oh, what is that? Sludge? I think that was sludge. I think I saw a spot to climb up. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. General store. In. I actually thought that would be shorter, that's why I didn't read it, but, uh, well. Basically, it's just his... He wrote over his father's teachings, and people don't really like him, because he thinks his, he's too young. Man, the sludge is making everything so dirty. Well, now he's 
Even though it must have been difficult, we're not down to buy the sledge outside, we're not pressing any grace with King Dorothan's presence, so we are making use of the throne room. The sledge cannot fall in hall. Cannot fall in here, it is safe. Hurry along, take shelter beneath the safety of the smooth firewall. Hey, why is there no uh, armor? Can there be a merchant for armor? There's actually like no armor there. I wonder why. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go back to the Rito, vi Rito village then. Uh, just because I already know where the stamina, I mean the uh, goddess statue is, so I can upgrade my stamina there. And then. And then I'll probably go back to. The orb of the wing. And then start heading southeast with the map to get the last sky uh, view towers. And then I'll see what happens next after that. Stamina vessel, let's go. How much stamina do I get with one vessel? What? Like 20%? So I need five upgrades for one full bar. This stamina increase should be much better now, so I have a lot more stamina. That's great. Okay, I think we're recording for a while, so I think I'll be ending it here. Um, in the next part, I'll probably be going back to that, yeah, that area where I just said. Uh, and then I'll probably be flying over to, I think, this last portion, these two areas. And then after that, it's going to be over here for the ghetto, I think, or Gerudo. Gerudo, and then that should be it. I would have, I think, after that, then I would. Uh, oh, I can't actually go here, right? I think this is Hyrule. Oh, wait, no, this is Hyrule. I don't know what's there. Yeah, I'll figure it out. But yeah, I think right now I'm actually like 70% explored, but there's still a lot more things to go over and find in the game. Like, I don't think I've even scratched the surface of the game. Like, this game is huge. And I still have stuff that I haven't unlocked yet. And I've already spent, like, I think, like, 12 hours playing? But yeah. Well, so far, so good. I've been enjoying it. Um, yeah, lots of different weapons. Lots of upgraded weapons. Really cool stuff. So, overall, pretty great game. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.